dear students hope you are well and safe now we are going to see the fourth unit of linear algebra that is linear transformations introduction to linear transformations matrices for linear transformations introduction to linear transformations a linear transformation is a function t that maps a vector space here v into another vector space w that is already we know the mapping uh, like this we have a mapping t v tends to w v the domain of t w the co domain of t two axioms for linear transformations t of u plus v equal to t of u plus t of v t of c u equal to c into t of u image of v under t if v is in v and w is in w such that t of v equal to w then w is called the image of v under t the range of t the set of all images of vectors in v range of t equal to t of v such that for all v belongs to v verifying the linear transformation t from r square into r square that is t of v1 comma v2 equal to v1 minus v2 comma v1 plus 2 v2 vector addition here we you, we take u is equal to u1 comma u2 v is equal to v1 comma v2 u plus v equal to u1 comma u2 plus v1 comma v2 here we are having t of u plus v and then t of u1 plus v1 comma u2 plus v2 now we define the uh, t of v1 comma v2 as t of u1 plus v1 minus u2 plus v2 like this we get um, t of u plus t of v scalar multiplication in the like the previous axiom we get, we are having t of cu cu1 comma cu2 and then from the definition of the linear transformation we get c into t of u and then we see we are going to see about the functions that are not linear transformation for example we take f of x is equal to x square x1 plus x2 the whole square not equal to x1 square plus x2 square that is let us take x1 equal to 1 and x2 equal to 2 it becomes 1 plus 2 the whole square 3 square and uh, we take x1 1 plus x2 square that is 1 square plus 2 square 5 1 plus 2 the whole square becomes 9 they are not equal therefore it is a it is not a linear transformation and the linear transformation and basis let t r cube tends to r cube be a linear transformation let us define t of 1 comma 0 comma 0 Uh, t of zero comma one comma zero one comma five comma minus two t of zero comma zero comma one t of zero comma three comma one. Let us write as the linear combination of the elements. That is two comma three comma two equal to two into one comma zero comma zero plus three into zero comma one comma zero minus two into zero comma zero comma one. But t of two comma three comma minus two equal to two into t of And then plus three into t of zero comma one comma zero. On calculating this, we get seven comma seven comma zero. And then linear transformations given by a matrix. Now we write the linear transformation as a matrix. That is the a one one, a one two, etc. A one n. Like we write the elements as a matrix A, and then vectors as a V. On combining, we get hmm, the corresponding matrix. And then rank of a linear transformation rank of t is the dimension of the range of t and the nullity is the dimension of the kernel of d we uh, already know about the kernel of t and then sum of rank and nullity sum of uh, t v tends to w be a linear transformation from an n dimensional vector space v into a vector space w and then rank of t t plus nullity of t equal to the number of elements in the set that is n finding the rank and nullity rank of t equal to rank of a equal to here the here the matrix have the third row zero hence rank of a equal to 2 nullity of t equal to dimension of uh, domain of t minus rank of t adavad the dimension of t is 3 rank of t minus 2 equal to 1 Uh, now we are going to see the definition of one to one. Already we see t is one to one if and only if for all u and v in v. T of u equal to t of v implies 
u equal to v and then on to t is on to w when range of t equal to w but now we are going to see about the one to one linear transformation a theorem uh, it's a theorem let t v tends to w be a linear transformation t is one to one if and only if kernel of t equal to zero suppose t is one one t is one one becomes t of v equal to zero that implies v equal to zero then kernel of t equal to zero suppose kernel t is zero it becomes t of u equal to t of v but t of u minus v equal to t of u minus t of v equal to zero but t is a hence t is a linear transformation and then hmm, matrices how we write here yeah, matrices uh, for a linear transformation that is t of x next to x3 we write the elements inside the um, linear transformation that is 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 3 minus 2 0 3 4 x next to x3 like this we have to write and then we take the elements that is the coefficients of x next to x3 as the row of the matrix and then we have to find the standard matrix we first take t of e1 t of 1 0 0 that is 1 2 we use the notation defined in the linear transformation that is x minus 2y comma 2x plus y with the elements in t of 1 comma 0 0 we get 1 comma 2 for t of 0 1 0 we get minus 2 1 t of 0 0 1 0 0 0 and then we have to Uh, write a matrix like this and then mm, we can check it standard matrix and then now we are going to see the inverse linear transformation inverse linear tra t la, let us consider two mapping two linear transformation t1 r power n tends to r power n t2 r power n tends to r power n are linear transformation but t2 of t1 of v equal to v t1 of t2 of v equal to v existence of inverse linear transformation t r power n tends to r power n be a linear transformation with standard matrix a then the following equations are equivalent t is invertible t is an isomorphism a is invertible but t if t is invertible t is an isomorphism t is isomorphism a is invertible a is an invertible implies t is invertible now we are going to find the inverse of a linear transformation here a linear transformation is given now we are going to write it as a matrix and then we write as the write the augmented matrix as a and i3 a first we write the matrix a and then it is a unit matrix of order 3 and then mm, Uh, we change the matrix a in like unit matrix and then we have to change the unit matrix as the uh, we consider the matrix as a inverse this is done uh, by the pro process you done the uh, to follow to find the inverse of a thank you